Our next guest wrote a book called The Pleasure is All Yours. Reclaim your body's bliss and reignite your passion for life. She is here to talk about dealing with these kinds of issues. Get this, she is a licensed holistic psychologist, a relationship therapist, yoga teacher, author, public speaker, and Pleasure expert, Dr. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> Allen is here. Dr. Rachel, Hi. it's great to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that is quite the resume that I just rattled off. Give us a little yeah. bit of your yeah. background that sort of led you down this path. Right, and, and people always love that last one, pleasure, pleasure expert. expert. That I always thought, really yes. sticks with people. I felt uh, weird saying <laughs> it. Say yeah, well, I, you know, I grew up in what psychologists would call a sex positive household, which meant that it was just natural to talk about the body, reproductive body, there was no shame. And I noticed that that was not the case for most people, for mm -hmm. my peers. And my dad was a little bit less that, that way. My mom, she had like a party for when me and my sister had our periods. It was oh, very uh, open. My dad was, you know, supportive, but more behind the scenes. But he really encouraged me as an athlete. So I think I've always had mind-body connection and I've always been blessedly sort of free of shame as a sexual being. Now, I noticed that's not the case, though, for most of America. Mm -hmm. The United States is one of the most repressed countries in the world. So break that down. When you say the word repressed, I think maybe yeah. some people have heard it. They don't may, maybe know exactly what that means in the yeah. context of what we're talking about. How are we repressed? Well, we're really disconnected from our bodies, and that includes our emotions in our body mm -hmm. um, and expressing our emotions. And look at how we have communication breakdowns all the time. With the couples therapy that I do, I see that all the time. We're also really disconnected from just receiving our, our right to receive pleasures of different kinds, even if it's just rest from work, we're overworked. Uh, people don't even always take their vacation times. Um, and, and we're also, we have a hard time just letting ourselves, you know, feel good in our body. And then of course, erotic pleasure is the one that's really been the kind of the dirty concept, even though it's very natural. Right. Well, I feel like especially for women, and you probably can attest to this from speaking with people, I feel like if someone wants to sit down and watch their TV show, no, I've got to make the kids lunch yeah. for tomorrow, I've got to do this, i got to do that. It's always right. about the other people and not mm -hmm. about themselves. Absolutely, yeah. I think people People that are socialized as female, it's really encouraged to be nurturing for others. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of women have a hard time. They feel guilty and then they're they're resentful or they're burnt out or they're just disconnected from themselves mm -hmm. and taking care of themselves. And that really doesn't help anybody or, you know, relationships. You know, I think it's an interesting topic too about the re repressed is such a such a good word to use here to delve mm -hmm. into the conversation because you know, I think of growing up in a Christian household mm -hmm. and still a Christian, go to church, all that sort of stuff. But I think that sometimes they have handled that topic in such a taboo way mm -hmm. as opposed to how we would view it as like, this is how God created us and there's some really mm -hmm. awesome stuff that was that you're made to experience, but it's mm -hmm. so taboo yeah. for so long. And then you, you fly the coop and you just don't know what to do or yeah. how to conduct yourself. And then you might find yourself in some unhealthy situations, which adds even more weight to this baggage of silence that you came into it with. I know, it's so sad. I mean, the way I see it is we all have a body. We all also came from sexual beings. And yet everybody right. I know has a story of shame around those issues. Mm -hmm. Not to mention just the absence of education, whether it be education on emotions, expressing our emotions, or of course education, like that's sexual education that's actually accurate. Um, so yeah, I mean, we get into a lot of problems and, and a lot of my book is really about how do we reclaim mind-body connection, just sort of natural aspects. Sure of our body, because our body is actually a really wise resource when we listen to it, but we tend to override it all the time. Yeah, and you talk about this embodied awareness. Uh, what is that? Because it mm -hmm. seems like you're taking a really, I, as you said, pleasure expert gets everybody like, uh oh, what's she talking <laughs> about here? But it's about like the whole being that you're talking about. You even mm -hmm. talk about getting out in nature and just like understanding how do I feel? How do I feel when I'm out here? Which helps mm -hmm. you to maybe yeah. process your own I don't know, convoluted, complicated emotions a little easier. Well, because we get so stuck in our heads and, and we can go down these paths that really aren't our truth, but our body is really the raw data. Like what we can do, what we have agency over is the present moment reality of our body. So my book talks about bodyfulness, which is really mindfulness going to that next level, given that we know that we store trauma in our body and it can really block so us. True. Yeah. And so it's a bunch of practices to be more embodied, to have self-regulation, self-agency, which opens us up to uh, being able to have some of these higher order things in life, like you know, greater purpose, meaning, creation creativity, and ultimately intimacy, emotional and physical with others. I th I, the first time that I heard somebody say to me, 
when you get stressed, your like shoulders come up toward your ears. And mm -hmm. I had yeah. never thought about that before. And then I was like, oh my gosh, which by the way, for me, turns into a headache and feeling yeah. stiff. And there are real physical consequences that mm -hmm. are these alarm bells of like, mm -hmm. hey, are we taking care of ourselves in the right way? Right, and what's great is that you don't need a prescription. You don't have to spend a lot of money on fancy gadgets. It's all from the body up within us. And sure. quite honestly, as kids, we were much more tuned in to our body's needs and intuition. Right. And then we grow up and we're told, to kind of button up and be quiet and it really all gets lodged I mean the stress and trauma gets lodged in our bodies if you're not dealing yeah. with it you know mentally your body's gonna take on that, mm. that stress um, yeah now you did mention I should lower <laughs> you did mention yeah. um, erotic pleasure which like you said can make people feel really weird for mm -hmm. somebody who hears that and think I'm gonna get uncomfortable when I read that in the book what would you say to them I'd say all the more reason to read the book and to, um, especially if you're a parent and want to have children that you raise that also mm -hmm. feel comfortable as sexual beings. Um, I mean, we look at the Me Too movement. There's so many examples of the misdirected, unhealthy uh, examples of not just being really honest and open about the fact that this is this is who we are. And erotic energy can be a really potent, creative energy. Um, in, and I think it's it's a life force energy. And then it's really sad that things like pleasure and eroticism have been these dirty words when they're really regenerative healing uh, concepts that help us with resiliency and connection and, and our relationships that's really our oxygen we need it dr allen great to have you here thank you for coming in thank talking you. about what can feel like an uncomfortable topic the pleasure is all yours is available right now and twin cities live viewers can get 30 percent off with this code P-I-A-Y 30, like pleasure is all yours 30. Through August 31st, there are also launch parties coming up for the book. One at Landscape Love on August 12th and another at Modern Well on September 22nd, both in Minneapolis. She also has winter wellness retreats planned later this year. For more info on all of this, as well as a link to get the book, you can go to TwinCitiesLive.com when you're there. Click on Fun.